Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. On top of all the usual problems that the SNP government has, ineptness, stupidity and ignorance, to say nothing, of course, of the Michael Matheson affair, there is today another problem laid at their door. Alex Salmon is suing them. He promised he would, and now he has. And he's launched a, a case against them for their malfeasance over his malicious prosecution for 14 different sexual offences. And I hasten to add at this point, he won his case and was cleared of all of them. I at no point at all insinuate that he was in any way guilty. I want to make that clear. He never struck me at the time as being guilty and he still isn't. So well done to Alex for winning the case. Wouldn't have that against him. Many other things I will, but not that. However, because of the SNP government's stance in the case, their malicious push to ensure that he was basically taken out for political reasons, he's decided that now is the time to heap pressure upon pressure and sue them. And anything that brings problems to the SNP government is good news. So I think in this case, we're going to back Alex Salmon. We're going to stand with Alex and sue the smithereens out of this government. Here goes. Now, before we get into this, I must point out, I'm not um, a fan of Alex Salmon. I disagree with his politics entirely. But the principle of the case is that he was an innocent man and he was sued and he was pushed and the case was taken as a matter of political expediency. And that is wrong. We do not live in that kind of world. If he'd committed the crimes and he was prosecuted and found guilty, absolutely fine. But he didn't and he wasn't. And therefore, I agree completely that he has the right to do what he's about to do. And so despite my difference of opinion on his politics, I stand shoulder to shoulder with him on principle. So I'm just going to get that out of the way and explain my personal position. And having done so, we will now look. Alex Salmon is suing the Scottish government for three million pounds following unlawful sexual misconduct uh, probe. The former first minister is taking the government to court and alleges malfeasance by various past and present party officials. And boy, is this going to sting. I don't think they've got three million pounds to pay him. I really think if it was down to the SNP having to pay him, they'd be done. Anyway, the Scottish, but he's not suing them. He's suing the, Sc the Scottish government. However, the Scottish government is being sued for three million pounds by former leader Alex Salmond over its unlawful probe into sexual misconduct claims against him, which I must point out again, he won. Uh, the former first minister is continuing his ongoing battle with the party that launched its ill-fated in-house inquiry into him in 2018. Mr. Salmond, now leader of the Alaba party after quitting the SNP amid the complaint saga, is understood to have lodged a petition at the court of session alleging malfeasance by various past and present officials, according to the Herald. Now, if this causes immense strain within the SNP and causes party officials, and, and some of them will be MSPs, MPs, you know, people of rank, they're going to be they're going to be under an awful lot of strain over the next couple of weeks, couple of months, however long it takes to to deal with this. It's just delicious, isn't it? Uh, a hearing related to this. I can't. I just honestly, I'm just thinking this came out of left field. It, we knew he said about it, uh, but then it sort of never happened. And so you think, oh, he kind of hasn't. And then boom, he's come in. Anyway, a hearing related to the civil action took place on Thursday with the case known as Alex Salmon v Scottish Ministers. The move comes nearly four years after Mr Salmon was cleared in a criminal case involving multiple allegations of sexual misconduct, which stemmed from the internal government probe. SNP ministers had to pay Mr Salmon £512,000 in legal fees uh, following the original investigation after a judicial review concluded it had been unlawful, unfair and tainted by apparent bias. In the wake of the case, Mr Salmon targeted much of his ire at the then top civil servant in Scotland, Permanent Secretary Leslie Evans, who's now left her post, but not left the uh, responsibility for this case. And so she will still be on the hook. Leslie Evans is now a worried woman 
looking around at the house she owns and thinking, oh my God, will I have to sell it? And we have to hope that yes, yes, she does. Who knows? Uh, the legal move comes 30 months after Mr Salmon issued a statement on March 2021 vowing to take his legal action and blaming unnamed figures for refusing to accept responsibility. He said at the time, the waste of public resources has continued to grow and has the impact on all the people concerned. Wasting resources is something the SNP are really good at, isn't it? But the fact that they took this against him wasn't because anyone actually thought he was guilty. It was done specifically and just, just purely on the basis that they had to get rid of Alex Salmon in order to put in the Wunderkind uh, Nicola Sturgeon, the great messiah of the SNP, who by her leadership has done more harm than you could ever imagine. And she hasn't exactly exonerated herself from all charges yet either. That's another case we're hoping to see. Anyway, he said about the, uh, the, 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 the prosecution, he said, this cannot stand. He says, I have therefore taken legal advice and will shortly be instructing my lawyers to bring proceedings in the court session arising as a direct result of the conduct of the permanent secretary. I hope it is the only legal action I am required to take. And this was back in 2021. Uh, it's, understand, it's understood sorry, that Mr. Salmon is alleging malfeasance by various past and present civil servants when a public, uh, this is malfeasance when a public official knowingly abuses their power to cause harm. Separately, Mr. Salmon was cleared of a jury, by a jury of 14 counts of sexual misconduct after a two week High Court trial in 2020, which we all remember and he walked free and we all knew in our hearts that it was likely he was walking free because he never came across as that kind of guy at all. Uh, it just wasn't him, was it? When we heard the accusations, you thought, no, it's not real. It's not real. Anyway, a Holyrood committee later uh, inquiry later examined the SNP government's flawed handling of the misconduct claims and Mr Salmon and his allies claimed his successor, Nicola Sturgeon, had plotted against him. Well, say it ain't so. Say the little golem of govern didn't plot to oust him and take over. God help us. Anyway, Mr Salmon also claimed Ms Sturgeon broke the ministerial code by misleading Parliament about conversations with him. And documents released the inquiry after SNP ministers tried to block its publication showed lawyers had suggested the government's defence of Mr Salmon's judicial review was doomed, yet ministers dug in. A Scottish government spokesperson said it would not be appropriate to comment on live litigation, but not you're saying not appropriate, but not impossible to do so. It's entirely appropriate. You need to defend your position. Now, when he wins his case, which I suspect very much he will, that is money that will have to be paid to him. Good luck to him. Fine. I, I agree that what they did to him was wrong. Like I say, don't agree with the man's politics, but I must feel that I defend him on the principle of what's happening. But I do hope that it comes from the individuals concerned and that they're forced to like sell their houses or whatever just to pay salmon because they knowingly did this despite legal advice simply at the behest of political expediency. Alex, take them for every penny they have. Destroy them and make it clear that anyone in future doing this will face a similar prosecution. Make it, make it clear to these officials that if they go against the legal advice and if they do things that are actually wrong, they're going to lose their homes. Do that to them and it won't happen again. I'm coming up. Now, this is one of those cases where despite what Alex Salmon's politics are, you've got to stand with him because this is a case that goes to the very heart of justice. Today, it's Alex Salmon. Tomorrow, it could be you. Next week, it could be me. Who knows? There's no way a government should just do what it's doing against an individual because it doesn't like the cut of your jib, as it were. It doesn't like your political stance or something. And I think that regardless of what anyone's um, political bearing is, being Tory, Labour, Liberal, even SNP, you've got to see that it's not the government's place to destroy an individual based on their viewpoint. That is quite wrong. So, well done to Alex. Do win your case. We'll find out, I don't know, a week, 10 days, something like that. It shouldn't take too long. 
Um, and I do hope he wins. And I do hope that these individual um, officials, SNP members, the, you know, the maybe ministers, who knows, are forced to go to court, forced to explain themselves. I'd love especially to see Sturgeon there. Uh, and I do hope that part of this is directly at her. Because on top of everything else, watching her have to sell her house and motorhome would be a great, great thing. Especially when she hands it over to Alex Salmond. That would be the most delicious part of it. And it'd be fantastic. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. It's all fingers crossed for Alex. I'm with Alex. That'll be the thing. I, hashtag I'm with Alex. And uh, take these bastards for every penny they've got. Take care. Stay. See you soon. Bye.